Hey there guys, it's friends Vanguard here and welcome to this next episode of Flash Game Fridays. Uh, this time around we're going to be playing uh, another game from Cartoon Network, one that I sort of played a little bit when I was younger. Like I mentioned, um, I played that summer resort game a lot. This is sort of similar, it's a similar style adventure game. Uh, you'll see what I mean in just a couple seconds, but it only has one scenario and it's pretty short and doesn't have that much variety. Something I just noticed here, they have like a Georgia logo thing because Cartoon Network is based in Georgia because, was yeah, Time Warner, that's the whole company. That's currently based in Georgia. Atlanta specifically, I should say. Just interesting thing. You don't often get to see your own state represented. I mean, Georgia more so than some of the other states like Delaware. Has anyone ever mentioned Delaware? Probably not. Okay. I was going to try and start this, but I might have to... Let me see if I can do anything about this. No, no. Going to have to refresh the page. Alright, see you when that happens. Alright, so now the star button's actually reacting. So Johnny Bravo's going... I, I can't do Johnny Bravo's accent, so... The envelopes have gone missing. What envelopes? It doesn't say. Also, you can skip this. Oh, for the love of God. Now it's not working. Oh, there we go. It's just delayed, and he's going to ground them up IR. We can't s start the show without them. Now, there we go. Use arrow keys to move IR baboon around the backstage area. Press spacebar to talk to characters and pick up objects. Good luck. So that's our directions. Wow, it even has the same icon. This art style actually is a lot like um, Creep TV, a Curse the Cowardly Dog game that uh, was originally going to be the first episode because I wanted to debut this around uh, October, so it would have been appropriate then, but you'll just have to wait for that. But, uh, yeah, this is in a similar vein as the one before. You have all these uh, Cartoon Network characters around here, except they look they look more like themselves instead of, like, weird RPG Maker style sprites. Or s s the sprites that look like they were made in RPG Maker. Wow. The background music is not loud. Yeah, that's at max volume. Then again, it may just be quiet in my ears. Because now, uh, oh crap. Now I have an adjustable headphone. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear the music now. I now have headphones that can adjust the volume, the volume of stuff coming, coming through independently of the computer, which is good because that was a problem in the previous episodes when I wanted to play music, it would come through as quiet on the recording because that was the max I could have it without it bursting my own eardrums. So, we have something over here. They don't really explain the situation. Oh, can't do that, I guess. I'll just... No, I won't click around. I'll do this because it'll make less noise. What does Eustace got to say? Where do you think you're going? I ain't supposed to let anyone without the VIP pass mix with these fancy type folk. Johnny, you got anything? Oh, wow. He doesn't suppose. Come on, go find those envelopes. Oh, wait, that's all he's going to say. Who are you? Magilla? Are you from like Yogi Bear or something? That's what you look like. This is an old game. Because I don't recognize a lot of these characters from my memory serves. I basically recognize Johnny, the Courage characters, and uh, some Scooby-Doo characters in here too that I know of. Handing out credentials takes a lot of energy. I'm starving. I think that's a hint for us. Yeah? You picked up the platter of assorted goodies. That, that looks more like burgers than just assorted goodies. Yeah, they don't explain the context of what's going on around here, so I don't know if this is... If, like, they're pretending that all the Cartoon Network sh shows are, like, live performances or whatever, but, eh, it doesn't matter. No one really cares. Magilla takes a snack from your platter. Don't mind if I do. Got a VIP pass. So we still got some food left. Apparently, multiple people will just be wanting food and we'll give it to them. VIP, huh? Alright. I suppose you can come in. So, it does that weird blur thing, because apparently they're too lazy to animate Eustace moving. Probably not lazy. They probably just didn't have the like time to do that oh there's 10 envelopes between the leaves of this plant you found another another envelope good going that's the first envelope mind you Egu roar i have no idea what Egu is or what he is from Egu is trying to tell you that the, that is his job to block this door as long as he's standing here you can't get in well oh that was a noise 
This car is in your way. Better find a cater to move it. I wasn't expecting it to shout at me. I was trying to interact with that chicken there. Boghorn Leghorn takes a treat from your platter. Mighty nice see ya. Mighty nice. Okay, apparently he doesn't give me anything. He just takes one. What else are you going to say? I say I say it's a magical night. Yeah, you are you just took my food. Thank you. I didn't even necessarily offer you one. The door reads broom closet. It is locked. That's unfortunate. Broom closets are usually unlocked, so I don't know why it would do that. I'm, I mean, at least in video games, because they hold convenient stuff inside. It's rare that they're locked in games. In reality, more so, because you don't want people stealing stuff. So we got him right here. I'm certainly not going to try and imitate that voice. That would just be disturbing to all of you. You found my missing plate. Trey, please return it after you have served all the food. As character, I can't have those platters walking off. Okay. So apparently him's the server. That also sounds really weird to say. But whatever. Or caterer, I guess. Shaggy, what do you gotta say? Shaggy takes a snack from your platter. Like, far out, man. I thought they were out of veggie burgers. Oh, that's what they are. That's also kind of disgusting. I'm just not much of a vegetable guy. I much prefer meat on my burgers. I'm basically a carnivore. So, yeah. Veggie burgers are not my style. Hey, do you think you could leave a couple of those in my dressing room for after the show? Oh, we actually got something. Has anyone seen my p p p pants? I don't think you ever wore them. And don't worry, I do recognize this guy. I recognize him at least. He's famous enough for that. There's another envelope under those finger sandwiches? What? It's smushed with mayonnaise. Ugh. They don't explain what these envelopes are for anyways. Or is it like an award show? Is that what they are? And these envelopes are like the winning contestant things? Nah, that'll still scream at me. I doubt it opens up this. Try to find a, a way to open this door. No. Nah. Roar. No. Nah. Johnny, you want one? Well, that's great, but we can't start until we have all of the envelopes. I guess that's what it is. I heard they have finger sandwiches in the VIP lunch after you checked it out. I guess that's what it is. It's like an award show because Johnny says they can't they can't start without all of them, so eh, I guess. I really shouldn't since I am on duty, but what the heck. Yusuf takes a trip from your platter, so that's who the last person was. And this music seems to be looping, so I'm going to mute it before it gets too annoying, and instead we're going to switch over, not to YouTube this time, but to the Smash Bros. website to listen to some of the remixes that they have here. I'll, I think it auto-plays from one song to the next, but we'll start with Brinstar Depths anyways. Because Metro Metroid music is good. This one. Totally fits. This is exactly like Metroid, you know. Also, that might be a bit loud, so let me adjust. Ooh... I can adjust it from here. Because I realized if it was loud in my ears with my adjustable headset, then it was probably loud in yours. That might still be too bad, but if if it's not, then I can edit that in post. Alright, so now return this to him. Thanks for your help. That That's probably the first time he's ever said... He? It? She? I don't know. Has ever said that. I should put this tray back on the catering cart. Alright. So now we can go this way. This thing's on top of the garbage. Say, Chief, mind if I slip in behind you? I must have misplaced my credentials. So... Alright, whatever. Found a key in the dustpan? That's rude. The janitor must have thought it was trash. Doesn't say what it's for, but there's another envelope. And you can already see one over here. Ooh, you found an envelope. Better wash your hands later. As you can see, small area, but the Mr. Machine is locked. Surely one of these key... Okay, I can't do that. But surely... No, it doesn't know how to play. Well, let's go to Vegas stage theme. This is the first time I've heard this, so I might be listening in a little bit. Hey, hold that door. Okay, you going in there? Yeah. Oh, you're talking to the dude. Roar. Take it easy, big fella. 
use the broom closet key. It wasn't labeled broom closet key earlier, it was just a key. A mop could be useful. Wow, look at all the cleaning supplies. It's not that much. Dexter's mom must have stocked this place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game was made in like the late 90s. Maybe very early 2000s, considering the characters that they have on here I don't recognize. My, my earliest memories would be from like 2001, so a lot of these shows probably went off the air around before then. Like, um, yeah, Dexter's Lab was a late 90s, early 2000s show, so it would fit in there. What's between a large purple overcoat and a red and, red and white bathrobe? I can't talk too well today. Also, you might be able to hear a little bit of strain in my voice. That's because of a horrible, horrible episode of GoldenEye that was recorded the other day. You'll know which one in time. You'll know. You have found an envelope. I didn't realize it was all capitalized before. It may just be that one. Also, man, these are just like samples. They're not the full songs. That's disappointing. Anyway, well, listen to Breath of the Wild, I guess. Just walk in, Jude and Jetson go away. Yeah, that's old if they're talking about the Jetson. I won't go on without my roses. So we're kicked out of there. Dexter, what do you got to say? Did you just spill my instant tuck? Just spill my instant tuxedo formula. What? Give me your mop. Okay. Perhaps I can soak up enough for a bow tie. What's this thing? Beep, beep, bop. Got an envelope. Okay. Man, I love Zelda music. I can't I can't take those roses? Or those flowers? I I guess not. It's a great night for science and award shows. Alright, so that's what it is. So this is Shaggy's room. G go in. Alright. Let's steal that pizza. There's a set of keys under this pizza box. Picked up the set of mystery keys. Alright, so that's what it is. Oh, that's all the Zelda music. Unfortunately, eh, might have to loop on some of these. So we'll start with the Smash main theme. The reason I'm listening to this music right now is because uh, I was watching some videos of Smash Bros. Ultimate earlier and uh, I I'm excited. Can't wait for December, especially because I'll finally have my best friend that used to play Smash with me. He'll be back in the country by that point. He'll actually be back in the country in a month, so... But I won't have Smash Bros. play with him at that time, so it'll have to wait. A sign on this door says, Reserved for the Mayor. It is locked, so... Eh, can't do anything about that. Going this way, let's just open up. Use the mystery keys. What's in here? Found a box of Scooby Snacks. All right. Don't exactly know what we'll be using those for. If I go. Oh, there's the mayor. I'm going to give you the key to the city, or well, it was the key to something anyway, huh? So surely it's the key to his room. Mojo Jojo. I know nothing about the missing envelopes. If I knew, I would tell you, but I don't, so I will not. For I have nothing to tell. <laughs> not that you have asked. That's a weird comment to make. Alright, so this game was probably made in the early 2000s because I'm pretty sure Powerpuff Girls was early 2000s. Maybe, like, its first season or two was in, like, 99, but it was... I know it came on when I was a very young kid because I watched it during that time. Oh, you're just, you're just going to say your catchphrase. Well. No, not that way. This way. And... Oh, the door... That's weird. The, some of the doors remained open. So let's check out the mayor's room. Envelope. And there's a rose. For this car... The car reads to Miss Bellum. Break a leg. Judy needs roses. Think she'll know the difference? Probably. Also, it might be a little weird to see that old Cartoon Network logo there. I know it was for me. They changed it when I was fairly young to just the CN. They changed it from that checkerboard pattern, you know, to the to this thing right here. I remember they changed it. Uh, I was actually playing a game on Cartoon Network on the on this website at the time when uh, it happened. I remember because I saw the change and I was just like, "That's weird." 
but they but they still had uh, like the checkerboard logo on TV. I remember. And I only remember this because this specific instance because uh, we were changing the carpet around at the time, so I had to find something to do. So apparently, I was watching TV and playing games online. Judy, Jess, and So-So, thank goodness, my roses, I thought they'd never arrive. So she took that from us. What now? Is... I just knew Jet Screamer would remember my big night. Alright. And unfortunately, that's the end of that song, so... Do I loop again, or do I go on to Splatoon? You know, people like, people like Splatoon music. I've never played it one or two, so... It... And personally, I'm not a big fan of the music, just in my opinion. It's a little out there for me. So I guess we should go find Scooby, because since there's Scooby snacks, I'm assuming that's what we would have to give to him. Um, not in here. No? Oh, there's... Scooby looks nervous. Maybe a Scooby snack will calm him down. Ranks for a lot. Oh, what the? This lever is green. Let's find out why. Wait, was there an envelope there this whole time? Don't know what the green envelope does. It's stuck? Okay. Let's try this one. Alright, so that changes. There's an envelope over here. Found an envelope taped to this backdrop. Why would it be taped up there? Also, how do you lose stuff this badly? I'm assuming this last one's in uh, Miss Jepson's room because... Yeah, right there behind the portrait. Look, there's an envelope underneath this picture. So let's go talk to Johnny. Yeah, there we go. I figured there would be one in there since she would kick us out before. It would be weird to give her to have an optional thing that doesn't reward you with anything. Hoo-ha! You're a lifesaver. Now the show can go on. Is there music for this? No, it's the same music as before, but he's going to be hopping up on stage for some reason. And the winner is you. Thanks. The winner... Uh, a winner is you. It should be. Thanks for saving the big night. And that's all this game is. There's, As I said, there's not much to it that... Uh... Gosh, I'm blanking on the name. That summer resort game, it was a bit more in-depth, even if the graphics were a lot uglier and some of the controls were weird. But, it had a bit more depth to it, especially since it was a four-parter. But that's going to be all for this week. That game had a lot less than I remember it being. Though, for some reason, I thought I remembered um, all the envelopes being hidden in the back of uh, the mystery machine. And, like, there were, like, five envelopes or something back there. And that's where they all were. But instead, they were all scattered around. My memory was just fooling me. But yeah, that's all there is to this. Not much else is different. Let me... Mute this again. We'll... Play some more Brainstar Depths while I wrap up the episode. So, as always, with Flash Game Fridays, if uh, you want to have your own suggestion, please submit it to me down in the comments below. Only two rules, and one of them is YouTube's rule, so can't, it's non-negotiable. Uh, the two rules are no excessive violence and uh, no no sexual content. So anything else is fair game. And uh, again, I would be glad to take suggestions. So if you have that, please submit it in the comments. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.